What's up guys, Shane P here today, and today I have this really dope episode for you guys. Um, today we, I'm gonna show you guys uh, pretty much every cover of Immortal Hulk that I have in my personal collection. Um, I've been collecting Immortal Hulk since, um, since it's a release. Uh, I think it was back in 2018, I guess. Um, the series was written by uh, Joe, no, not Joe Bennett. He's an artist, but um, it was uh, written by Al Ewing, art done by Joe Bennett, and all the cover A's were done by the great and legendary Alex Ross. So I'm just gonna pretty much uh, dive into it and just show you guys every single issue that I have from that run. So, <clears throat> and I want to say about the run as well, the run is amazing. Um, when I first started reading it, it was just pretty much like this uh, horror take on the Hulk. You know, I never seen the Hulk done like this before. Um, you know what I'm saying? And like this horror vibe uh, of the character. And it's, it was just such a crazy, um, crazy and wild read through the whole run uh, with Al Ewing's writing. It's just, it's just fantastic. So let's get into it. Um, number one, Immortal Hulk number one. This is not the, the cover A. Um, I don't know, like I said, uh, in my past videos, uh, when I started collecting Mortal Hulk, I picked up in issue four. And um, I, I, when I read that, I was so intrigued by the series and I was like, I gotta go back and get the rest of the issues. And I went to my LCS and I got uh, issue three and it's, no, no, excuse me, sorry. I picked up issue three and I read it and I, and I fell in love with it and I had to go back and get issue two. And they had it, thank God, for cover price. That book's going crazy now. Because, uh, like I said, the series is so good. But um, they didn't have the number one. So I ended up finding this on eBay. And I got the second. I don't know. It's so weird. But um, I had it ever since. This is the Joe Bennett uh, wraparound cover of uh, Mortal Hulk number one. This is the second printing. So, I don't know. Like I said, I could I could just get the cover A. But I don't know. I, that's just I'm a weird collector like that. And I've always rocked with that cover. And I like it too. So And it's a wraparound. So it's pretty cool. Um, next we have Immortal Hulk number two. This is the first appearance of Dr. Fry. This is the hot book, one of the hot books inside the, uh, the run. And this is a crazy ass story with this character. Well, the, like, like I said, every, every book in this run is crazy. If you guys haven't read it, please do read it. It's amazing and that is an amazing Alex Ross cover. You're gonna see a lot of beautiful covers by Alex Ross in this whole series, so. Um, Immortal Hulk number three. This is the first book I ever picked up from the run that made me fall in love with this series. And all I can say, the rest is you no know, set in stone with me in this in this in this run and stuff like that. So it's crazy little, you know what I'm saying? Shot right through the Hulk, and you can see uh, that's character. I think his name is Hot Shot, and she, 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 I think he shoots laser beams on his hands and stuff like that. But this book was amazing. It had like multiple artists in it and it had like um different oh that damn tripod got me okay you guys are good okay you guys almost fell on me <laughs> um next we have immortal hulk number four he's really cool uh of him holding these two uh cars in his hand and stuff like that rampaging through the city the streets and stuff like that pretty awesome um, and also this reminds me of that, uh, um, what is it called, that uh, Hulk Ultimate Destruction game, you guys played that game? That game was so fun back in the day, you can like, um, what does it call it, get like, um, like city buses and stuff like that and ride and surf around the city, it's, it's crazy, it's a crazy game if you guys haven't played it, you guys should check it out, it's an old school game. Um, Immortal Hulk number five. Got the Sasquatch right there, pretty dope. Love it, man. Like I said, these are amazing covers by Alex Ross. Um, issue six, Shatter, Shattering Reality. Pretty dope. Um, we have Immortal Hulk, issue seven. And this one's a cool one. You have everybody in the cover. You got Captain Marvel. You got uh, Captain America, you got Iron Man, you got She-Hulk, you have who's else? Thor's in there, Ghost Rider, Doctor Strange, everybody. 
That is a dope cover. Love that one. Ah, uh, this is another favorite one of mine. Uh, Immortal Hulk number eight. He's split up and put into jars and stuff. That is pretty wicked. Pretty dope. Let me see if I can fix this for you guys. Okay. All right. Next we have um, is Immortal Hulk number nine. We have issue 10. That is the green door right there. A pretty dope cover. With the Hulk to walk through the green door. Amazing. Uh, this is one of my favorite covers right here. Immortal Hulk number 11 with the Stanley tribute on there. If you guys, oh my gosh, this is, this is something like I probably would frame or get CGC'd and shit like that just because the cover art by Alex Ross is fucking phenomenal. Um, <clears throat> but if you guys look closely into the um, the back where he's, it looks like smoke, it's actually uh, people and he's in hell and it's fucking crazy. This is, this is a wicked ass cover, man. Like this shit is dope as hell. I love it, man. Uh, okay, let me get situated. Next we have uh, Immortal Hulk number 12, the first appearance of the one below all. I thought his design was kind of funny looking. They look like a big old demon bird or some shit. I don't know. It looked weird to me, but it's it, it was a dope ass story when he went to hell and he fought his daddy and shit like that. But I just think this design is weird. But um, this is the first appearance of the, um, like I said, the one below all, so that's pretty dope. Next we have Immortal Hulk 13. Pretty cool. Uh, another, one of my other favorite covers from this run is uh, Immortal Hulk 14, man. Look at that. This is cool. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> I love this cover, man. This is a really cool cover right here. Like I said, Alex Ross just, he kills it in this whole run. It's just amazing. Um, this is a funny one. Mortal Hulk 15. You got Doc Samson right here. And he sees the Hulk just laying down there. And he's, you know, probably, probably trying to dissect him mentally and stuff like that. Like, it's just hilarious. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. This is one of my other favorite um, covers. And happy I got it. Um, when I seen the previews for it, I was like, I have to get this cover. You know what I'm saying? This shit was dope as hell. You have Immortal Hulk number 16. You have Hulk right there in the moon and shit. It's, it's, so, it's a weird cover, but I like it because, you know, you got this character uh, just sitting in the graveyard playing the harmonica and, and the Hulk's like the moon. <laughs> and it's just, it's sick. I like it. I like, I like this cover so much. It's pretty cool. Uh, next is another cool ass cover. Um, Immortal Hulk 17. Really sick cover right there. And if you look closely down at the water, you can see the Hulk right there under banner. Pretty cool. <clears throat> Next, we have this big ass face right here uh, of, of the of the Hulk's face. It's a pretty funny, pretty cover. You can actually put it in your face like this and be like, and just walk around and shit like that. Oh, a little glare, but yeah. You, you get you get what I'm trying to do. Whatever. Um, next we have um, Immortal Hulk 19. This is a pretty crazy, pretty crazy read right here. Oh my gosh! Look at look at this. Look at this art, man. It is fantastic. Alex Ross, man. It's like crazy. Crazy detail. I just, I just, I just came. I'm like, I'm coming to the conclusion that like, if if Alex Ross does all your cover A's in your series, like your series got to be fucking good. You know, that's just me though. I don't know. That's that's just my opinion. <laughs> because if he, if he's doing like every cover A, that that would be that would be the one. And this is. Um, Immortal Hulk 20, and it has the Eisner Award nominee Best uh, Continuous Series uh, badge on it, so that's pretty cool. With uh, the Red Harpy right there, it's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Uh, 
pretty cool. Next we have is a Mortal Hulk 21. Nice. And then we have a Mortal Hulk 22. He's just standing in front with his arms crossed like a boss. <laughs> Elbows up, side to, I don't know, I thought about that song when he did that, like a cholo. <laughs> uh, Mortal Hulk 23, this is pretty cool, pretty cool cover. And this is, this is when um, the series start taking a turn for like the wackiness, like it, it just started getting really weird. I'm sorry, it got really weird for me, around 25, around 24, issue 24, 25, when they get when 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 they end up getting to like the intergalactic shit with uh, the green is now the new um, the, e the the evil color and shit like that. That's all you see is green. Like if you guys read the series, like it's I was just like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> uh, issue twenty four, <laughs> and this is a dope ass cover. I love that cover, man. You got the Hulk with the world in his hands. That shit is. Fucking fire! This shit is dope. So, and I don't know. Like, when I look at that picture, I think I think about Scarface. I don't know why. Like, oh, you like the world is yours. You know, if you guys seen Scarface, that's what I think about. This is the uh, anniversary issue twenty five, number twenty five, Immortal Hulk. It's a thick ass book too. She is, she's a thick one. She's a thicker than the snicker. But this is yeah. This is a pretty cool cover <laughs> again by Alex Ross. Pretty cool. All white. Those are really hard to keep playing too. Especially like the older books around the Silver Age, Golden Age. Like you have a white cover, it's it's a wrap. Um, next we have Immortal Hulk 26. <clears throat> a lot of a lot of craziness going on in this cover. Just just looks like everybody's plotting. They're plotting something. Um, next is, uh, this is when he started going against that, uh, that Minotaur and shit like that. Like that Minotaur, uh, storyline. Um, Mortal Hulk 27. That was a pretty cool, that was a pretty cool read though. With the, um, the police officer and the, um, the whole storyline with that stuff. That was pretty cool. Uh, Mortal Hulk 28. Like that cover is pretty cool. Uh, oh, this is another favorite one. Past the the infamous twenty five issue, this is a really cool like cover. It's like uh, some kaiju shit, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, some some Godzilla action going on here. It reminds me of like this is this like the Hulk is like be like Godzilla and 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 this uh, crazy ass monster. I forgot who that who the monster was, but it it reminded me of like. Uh, the fuck is the monster called? Uh, King King D uh, Dijor Jidora or whatever whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. I slayed that name, but that's that's what it reminds me of like some kaiju shit. <laughs> A bunch of monsters just fucking brawling in the city. Pretty much, it's pretty much the Hulk. Um, Immortal Hulk thirty. This is when he started going against that weird ass dude right here. Started doing like some psychological warfare with the Hulk and shit like that. And yeah, pretty crazy. Um, next we have, this is a pretty cool one, um, Immortal Hulk, um, what is this, 31, in the middle of the city, straight up red, pretty awesome cover. But next we have, again, it's still, it's still going on with that storyline with that dude, uh, Immortal Hulk, 32, got Hulk and a dollar, dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Um, next we have Immortal Hulk 33, but also the legacy of 750, you know, they both fucking up the Hulk. This is a weird, this is a funny looking cover. This is one of the recent ones, um, Immortal Hulk 34 <laughs> and this is like big old brain dude. A wife says, like, looking like a Hulk dick or some shit like that. <laughs> so it's pretty weird. But, um, yeah, it's a weird cover. So, that's that. 
And then we have the very last issue of Immortal Hulk uh, so far. Um, is Immortal Hulk 35. And it came with two variants. Um, you had the cover A by Alex Ross, which is pretty cool. You got the Hulk like being interviewed and stuff like that. Amazing. And then you had, of course, the on sale on Wednesday, which is which is a really cool thing to have um, in your collection as well. So that was Immortal Hulk 35, and that was pretty much my um like all the books from the Immortal Hulk run. You know what I'm saying? Um, the series was amazing. You know, like I said in the beginning when um I first started reading it, uh, on issue three, like it, it got me really intrigued. Um, with that with that story um, it had like multiple point of views in that in that number three the one that that got me into the the, um, the series and it had like multiple artists so I was like oh shit you know so it was a new take on the Hulk with the horror and then I went back to read issue two and then issue one because I was weird like that and and uh, it, it just it, it like I said it was one of the one of the series when it when it first started where I was just like this is one of the hottest series I've ever read, man. Like this is this book right here was like, and think back in 2018 was like the the top tier of the fucking storytelling. Like Al Ewing was fucking killing it, and Joe Bennett's fucking art is just fantastic with Alex Ross's cover art and stuff like that. But then, like I said, around like uh, issue 24. When he started getting to that intergalactic stuff and then from then on it kind of lost me like it was just it got too it got too like like metaphorical for me and shit like that it got too like i'm just like over here like what the fuck is al ewing talking about at this point and i was just like i just like it just lost me with 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 that and stuff like that but <clears throat> i don't know like they said the like the first the first uh 20 issues you know, before it starts getting into that weird intergalactic stuff was like fucking fantastic. And um, I, I loved it. I, lo I love the series. Al Ewing's an amazing writer. He always kills it in everything he does and stuff like that. And every time like, I go out, I, I look for his name, you know what I'm saying, uh, on all the books that um, that he's that he's created and written. And um, Everything he does is fantastic. And, and also like Joe Bennett, like I said, Joe Bennett's art is, his interior art is just, you know, is untouchable. I, I, would, lo I would love to see uh, Joe Bennett do uh, Amazing Spider-Man. That would be dope as hell. Or, or you know what I'm saying? Have him on there or switch him over to DC or whatever. That would be fantastic too, to see him, you know, draw Batman. That would be fucking cool. You know, imagine that. <laughs> but uh, anyways, that this was, like I said, just, a video to show you guys every single comic from the um, Immortal Hulk run from 2018 till now and everything. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right? Peace.